that what it was? I think it is, yes. He's moving back home to uh, upstate New York. So I think we're going back there for school and to be closer to the family as well. Um, he's been in Michigan for a long time, like 2000. I met him in like 2009 back in the brawl days. <laughs> so he will be greatly missed. This will be his last, you know, uh, big Michigan event, being I, a Michigan resident. Uh-oh. Terry's sliding off. Oh, boy. That's going to be... Possibly a slight issue if someone wants to sit a little further oh. away from the screen. We've got some tech skill errors going uh -oh. on, and the match hasn't even started yet. Oh, he's he's just sitting down there. Okay. All right, I dig it. But we can't see him in the camera, Let's though. Oh, it's Jordan. Oh, you can see his hat. We can see his hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to see how uh, Zadix Corner plays. And he's jumping off the stage, too. What? These people. Oh, that's so adorable, sitting off together. I don't together. understand. <laughs> I guess you got to communicate somehow. Yeah. All right, game one. Luigi Cloud and Corn Falcon. We got some DLC hybrid teams here. Oh, this is going to get pretty nasty here. Like, this small stage with these characters, it's going to be a lot of destruction. Now, I'm not going to lie, I am somewhat surprised to see Jordan start off with Falcon. I would think he'd go Ryu. Like, his Ryu is... I've seen him do some real work in teams, but his Falcon's no slouch either, though. I want to say it's the team composition. Uh, I think Falcon is just a lot better at, at uh, creating chaos, and, and Corrin is good at staying outside of the chaos and then just, like, containing it. That's very true. Um, and one thing I heard Jordan say a couple days ago is that he... When nice he's crossover. playing Ryu in doubles, he needs to team with someone that has a lot of speed. So if he went Ryu and teamed with Corrin, it's just it's a team that is lacking that that speed factor. You know, I can respect that. That was a really good evasion of the down beat gimp there. Oh, that was that was great right support Ooh. there. Wow. Hypercrasher taking us back to season one. And we turned a bad situation into a stock. That was classy. All right, we're still, well, green team down by a bit, but. They need to really minimize their percent of stock until they can uh, clean up Maloney here. Yes. Of and course. Maloney's got a limit, which means you're getting to those scary percents. We gotta really watch yourself. And he's getting rage. He's got substantial rage now. Yeah. A cross I'm, slash could kill. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a cross slash in the right direction will kill either character here. Just waiting on that platform. That is smart. Ooh. Good up air. That was a good pressure situation by Zadek. They're just charging that forward smash so that Hyper Crasher couldn't really release the the third jab there because he would basically eat that whole forward smash. It wouldn't kill from here, but. Green team Pretty. having a, some struggles getting that stock. They finally get Maloney stock, but this might be a case of too little, too late right now. Yeah, blue team pushing the lead even, even further. The entire stock leads, but green team doing good, pretty good so far on these stocks. Hyper Crasher just waiting for his moments, just trying to get the grab, get that easy percent, and manages to avoid the Dragon Fang shot. <laughs> Oh. Yep, oh, that no. was not the best choice of that Falcon kick. Right in front of the Cloud, too. And he's been getting those Clem Hazards like the full version. You know what? I never see anyone try to DI or tech that. Like, you can totally tech Clem Hazard and punish the Cloud for it. Or you can just DI away and he'll miss. The limit or the regular one? Um, The, the regular one. Yeah, the regular one you can definitely DI out of it. I never see people do um, it, and they never try to tech it either. The teching, I think if I'm not sure because I think if at a certain position of the Clem Hazard, uh, the last hit will like send them away before they can actually tech the ground. It really depends. If you're outside, if you're like at the tip of the blade when he's about to come down, you will go outside. But if you're still inside, then you will just get spiked down. Well, what I mean is like if Cloud is is uh, in position to land before you are, oh, right. I think he's gonna get that hitbox out that sends you away before you even touch the ground. I can see that. It's really, it's definitely a situational-based kind of thing. 
Anyway, we're seeing a pretty decisive win right there for game one. <laughs> All right, green team strategizing here. Is the Ryu going to come out? Oh, wait, the Ryu has come out. So yeah. who will Zadik switch to? Zadik? <laughs> Zadik Fox? Okay, I've seen the, the Fox Risky. has done some things in the past. I mean, Zadik, he's trying to main Corrin now because he was maining Lucina for a while, but, like, He's still trying to fit, find himself this character. He plays like 20 characters probably at this point. <laughs> Cloud and Luigi, though, they have some of the best punishes against Fox. Oh, definitely. Like the quickest conversions into stocks. Yep, you've got to somehow get inside the Cloud's range. Of course, you also have to make sure that you're not getting Cyclone Gimped. And then just raw limit break options just kill Fox so easily because he's got a weight value of 79. He's a light character. <laughs> All right, game two, going to town and city. Um, this pretty much really benefits everyone on the stage here, the low ceiling, so we'll see how this plays out. All right, lots of chaos right now. And Maloney has limit break. Oh, and Jordan's going to have to be so careful. He's already within kill percent. And the li Oh, it still kills him. And only the last hit is the only thing that hit him. Oh, and little are going for the side B gimps. Or the down B gimps, sorry. Both characters on green team are vulnerable to that as well. Fox more so than Ryu. Yeah, I mean, I think Ryu can, like, true story. You can prove it, probably. Yeah. But if he if catches he him low enough, though. Right, right. Oh, Ooh. misses the finishing touch. Goes for the Cyclone Gimp. Oh, but he doesn't mash enough. But did he just get spiked and then footstooled? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, that's just dirty. Oh, man. And Jordan already on his last stock. Oh, going for the Cyclone there Gimp. It and it, there it is. Yeah. Very, very unfortunate. And blue team with a devastating lead right now. Blue team is making, looking to make them drop out of this tournament. And the sure you can get Hyper Crasher, but we're still down here. We need to see some magic here on these stocks. We gotta, we gotta see some Fox footstools. Yes. I don't want that slow, Joe. All right, big damage. You know what, I'm going to have to agree with Bo Scotty that switching to Fox, at least when there's a Luigi on the other team, I don't necessarily agree. And Hyper Crasher, he, he's one of the few Luigis that actually knows how to Cyclone Gimp in this state. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be looking for that. Yeah, and there it goes. Yep, Jordan. Oh, just barely misses it. Here it is. It hit, you know, just go for it. You know, you've got stocks to go and throw away. Yeah. It's going to take a miracle for his One grab from this. Luigi or just that, you know. Okay, we take the, wow, dash Any attack the finishing confirm. touch. Okay, I actually like that. That was good. And we're seeing uh, blue team win pretty decisively there. 